Howdy folks. It's Gary out in the at the Fitz Preacher Farm. We're out in the garden today. And uh, I'm gonna do a little gardening. Let me show you something I've been working on here. This was our bed that we planted onions in. And my old buddy Fred, he came by and fixed us up. And he decided that he was gonna dig him a big old hole under there. And he and I have talked about this and I don't think he liked the outcome. But anyway, uh, I decided that I'm tired of going through the winter months and not being able to plant nothing. So I started yesterday building us a cold frame. And as you can see, I've got the back on it. We've got our slant in the front. I found these, oh Fred's aggravating the neighbor's dogs. I found these uh, shower doors and they wouldn't work, but uh, I'm gonna build some and we're gonna put some polycarbonate on top of it. But uh, that's one of our projects for today is to get these doors built and uh, we'll get on that in a minute. But I wanna show you something that I got here. I just came back from a feed store and uh, we're actually gonna do a little fertilizing. I, uh, I got to thinking a, a while back about, we, we like to use rabbit manure. I mean, it's, to me, it's the best fertilizer all around. And I began to think, what is rabbit manure? Well, rabbit manure is just grass pelletized, basically. It's got some rabbit urine in it, stuff like that, but that's basically what it is. So I began to do a little research and I <clears throat> ran across the guy, Gary, over at the, the Rusted Garden. Rusted, R-U-S-T-E-D, Garden. And if you guys aren't following him, if you like gardening, you need to go over and check him out. He sells a lot of stuff, and I bought some seeds from him and stuff. But he talks about this, doing this. And he talks about doing it in the wintertime. So today, we are going to fertilize the garden with alfalfa pellets. Now you have to do this if there's a rain coming in because if you throw these pellets out there on the ground every deer in three counties are going to show up out here in your garden and they're going to eat them. Birds are going to eat them, squirrels, rabbits, whatever. It's supposed to rain tomorrow so today's the day that we're going to fertilize the garden on January the 5th. So let's do it. I came over to put a little alfalfa, a little fertilizer on the garlic. And as you can see, that garlic that we planted in those ammo boxes is doing fantastic. There's another one. So, uh, it's in down here. They're kind of coming on a little bit, but we're going to give them a little little dose of these alfalfa pellets but I kind of wanted to update you on that we'll be able to maybe we'll be able to keep the vampires away this spring
Well, as you can see, I was sinking up to my ankles out there in the mud, so I'm gonna have to find to figure out another way. Well, there you go. That's a quick and easy way to get start getting your garden ready now. And uh, those bags, uh, those are 50 pound bags. And I think I gave 12, right at $13 for them a bag. Uh, if you went and bought triple 13 or something like that fertilizer, you'd be out that much or probably more. And uh, this is organic. This is better, better for you. But hey, you can start working your dirt. If you can get your dirt worked up, go get you a couple bags of that and throw in there. I got some ashes in the fireplace in there and uh, we'll add that to it and that'll help and that garden will be ready to go uh, just as quick as we can start working the ground and it warms up enough so hey that's a video for today and kind of a little garden update not a whole lot going on right now but we're going to get this cold frame done and uh, when we get it done we're going to plant some some beets and some greens and some stuff like that in there uh, that cold frame there you can put a little light bulb in there and keep them warm and keep them from freezing uh, I wouldn't want to plant tomatoes or anything like that in there right now but but your cold crops your lettuces and your greens and stuff like that maybe some beets and carrots stuff like that we're gonna throw some in there and uh, we'll put a little light in there uh, Christmas tree lights or something just a small light just enough to keep the keep it warm in there a little bit won't cost a whole lot hey Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. I'll see you on the next one.